Hello, welcome. In this video, this is our third video in our series, is a continuation of our detailing and detail components. In this video, we're going to clean things up a little bit, add some more uh, annotations to this, more no callouts, and we'll also add some drafting elements to this too to try to complete what we think is a, is a decent detail here. First of all, let's go in here and correct our spelling error. I believe it's 1C for acoustic insulation. Now let's reduce that text size. If we double click in that text, and go over here to text where it says uh, one quarter aerial. I don't think we have, or I have, uh, additional text. And if you have that situation happen, let's go ahead and uh, create some new ones. So we want to go to edit type and go to duplicate like we always do. Get rid of that too in aerial and just call this 330 seconds. So the default setting for a lot of the text that's inside of Revit is 330 seconds of an inch for uh, just a basic text that would uh, you know, be associated with dimensions and callouts and stuff like that. So we're going to stick with that uh, that uh, sort of. Uh, uh, scheme here. So 330 seconds of an inch aerial, we also want to change the text, 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 text size also. Now if you type in 330 seconds here, it's going to uh, know that you mean inches rather than feet. It just knows that here in this element of Revit, but not when you're deal, uh, drawing in, in a large scale. So, good OK. And now that gets, uh, that gets teeny tiny. It's a little bit bigger than the ground. I think it's a sixteenth of an inch, which is okay because it's a it's a it's a legend symbol in a way. So we're okay. We're gonna take this dimension, move it off to the off to the side over here. What we're gonna be doing is putting all of our notes on the right hand side, our dimensions on the left hand side, just to kinda kinda keep it ordered and make it look nice. So if we go to the text button, okay, we'll save the project. We're gonna go to the text button. We want to make sure we scroll down to uh, our dog leg leader. We're going to click on this item, and we're going to call that uh, our fire stop. So F I R E S T O P. Make sure you have the cap locks on. Oh, that's not spell. Cap locks. Fire stop. Oh, so the text is still pretty big, but we can correct that easily. We've already created that 330 seconds of a text of an inch text, so we're going to do that. So we're going to put some elements in the bottom. What I like to do is have a, a layer of uh, compacted earth and a, a layer of just a regular um, regular earth. And so the way we do that is we go to the annotate tab, and initially we're going to go to detail line and detail an area that we want to have uh, where our, um, where our compacted earth is going to be. Then we're going to go to a region. We're going to fill that in. So let's go to detail line. Let's just draw a line across here like that. And just like with any element in Revit. It usually gives you listening dimensions and eventually temporary dimensions. We're going to make that permanent. Click on our line as if we're going to move it and take that uh, that value and change it. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move that uh, that dimension down. So let's go ahead and grab some. Let's grab that dimension, move it off a little bit. So go to the move button. We want to stretch the dimension out, uh, line out a little bit. Let's see if we can grab that uh, endpoint. Of the dimension, so we can move it. There we go. So we're going to actually attach it to that line. We move that one more time. Put this dimension line in here like that. And what I'm trying to do is just line this up so we can get a, a decent leader to it. There we go. Grab the wrong one, but now we have the right one, and we're on track again. Drag this one down here too a little bit, so it's a little bit closer to the model. Clicking that line, clicking that dimension, we're going to type in 8 inches. Or 6 inches. So, you know, if you don't click on that line, you're not going to be able to change that dimension. But once you do that, then you're okay. So, we're going to make that 8 inches. So, this is going to be a region where it's going to be uh, compacted earth. We're going to bring our brake lines down a little bit, kind of expand that area. And what it's doing is it's beyond our crop boundary. So we're going to highlight our crop boundary and move that a little bit too. And then hide it back again. Okay, so there's an area that we're going to be using for compact earth. We're going to take our region and uh, that uh, break line and bring it to the front. And the same thing with this one, so it hides a little bit of the end of that. And now we're going to do some drafting, do some drafting elements on top of it. So detail line. We've already done that, so now we're going to do a region. And the region we want to do, we want to, uh, I don't know if you have more regions in this or not, for some reason all I have is digital crosshatch, which is okay, it's a good exercise right now. We're going to create some more. So we're going to go to edit type, and we're going to go to duplicate. Instead of a d diagonal crosshatch, I'm going to call this um, compact earth.
Good OK. Pick the elements that we want. These are just crosshatch elements, and I think they're the very same in AutoCAD as they are here. And we want to scroll down to, um, let's do this. Let's go down to sand dense. I don't see compacted earth, but I do see sand dense. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and choose that. So go to OK. And go to OK here. And what it doesn't have is a region we're going to be able to use. So we're going to click on some of the geometry that's in here. Create an enclosed region, and then go to check mark. And now we have that. And then the last thing we want to do is create a region down here for the earth. So let's go ahead and do that again. Go to region. Click inside of here, inside of there, a little bit, up, and over. And I don't think that's quite complete, so we're going to move in here and kind of move uh, some of these lines around a little bit so they line up a little bit better. This one over here like that. And I think that'll be okay. And then we're going to use a different fill. So instead of compact earth, we're just going to use regular earth. So we're going to go ahead and edit that. Edit type. Do the duplicate. Just call that earth. Get rid of that too. Oop, go to OK. And right here we're going to actually type in earth. Or find earth. Which is this. That's a good one. Go to OK. Go to OK. And green check mark and psh, all done. So the last thing we want to do is take this last bit of annotation just for practice with the control key. We're going to move it down here so that acoustic insulation applies to that. And that is our detail view. The next step is going to be able to put that in sheet and we will save that for a future movie.